So I think in the United States right now, uh, there are, uh, we have a dual public health crises. Um, we have 100 million Americans, according to the Institute of Medicine, that's one in four, an estimated one in four Americans suffering from chronic pain. And I think we need, as Americans, to do a better job in the way we're taking care of our patients suffering from chronic pain. Primary care providers are really on the front lines of taking care of patients with chronic pain. And we know that uh, it's, we're not, these are not only uh, physicians, but these are mid-level providers, nurse practitioners, physician's assistants, but it's the whole complement of a team, a patient-centered medical home team, uh, that is taking care of patients on the front line. These are also pain specialists, interventional pain specialists, pain medicine, uh, fellowship trained specialists, psychologists, behavioral health providers. And what I think the American Academy of Pain Management can do is offer best practices pain education to all clinicians equitably to um, improve pain education throughout the United States. Um, in addition, we have another public health crisis, and that is the rising rates of prescription and heroin, opiate overdose deaths, and near fatal uh, deaths. And so I think through activities such as naloxone co-prescribing, naloxone universal precautions, I think that we can do a better job as a country in reducing these overdose deaths and near fatal accidents uh, through opioid misuse by educating clinicians um, through safer opioid prescribing, through better screening um, mechanisms like this. Mm -hmm.